I think that's one of the good things about sharing all these ideas together is that many of the things, many of the challenges are common challenges. So I'm not going to go much into some of the things which uh, were already said actually, because I think that we had, you know, many of the challenges which uh, I wanted to talk about have already been addressed. So the issue of, for example, sex versus gender is something that we have uh, come up with also and a, a, a crucial challenge uh, of this project because we were first of all starting to talk about like sex differences rather than gender differences and then we noticed that it's important for example uh, increasingly now to include like the issue of uh, gender identities uh, self-identified uh, males and females non-binary uh, and trans people and we're trying to do that more and more in the project but we didn't do that at the beginning so I think it's uh, important to, to, to incorporate the new challenges. Uh, again, um, which, is, which links up with the idea of biological arguments versus social constructionism, and also with the idea of, uh, which is a cru uh, you know, which is part of the debate in Spain, of the political debate, also the social debate between feminist and queer debates now, uh, in terms of uh, the feminist and trans debate, which is taking place now in Spain, for example, in relation to the trans law and whether it's going to be passed or not. And uh, there's been like a very heated debate actually between feminist uh, uh, scholars and uh, trans uh, LGTB communities uh, and so on. And then what, another of the challenges which I want to talk about, but which has already been mentioned too, is obviously that of intersectionality, which is I think also uh, crucial and central to our project because uh, it, our project is basically on the intersections of uh, gender and age, and or aging more specifically. But then we realized that first of all, we began with a kind of synchronic approach, uh, talk, interviewing and talking about people above 60. We also noticed, and this is something I think important, that we cannot talk about age in isolation. We have to talk about more and more about diachronic perspective on age, that age is a process, the, the aging process starts from the moment we're born and it continues throughout the life course and what we are today is inflected by what we used to be 10, uh, 20 or 30 years ago, to, to just give an example. And obviously all the other uh, aspects which have been incorporated into the project increasingly, increasingly the intersections of uh, aging men and masculinities with social class, ethnicity, sexual orientation and so on and so forth, or also the idea of a straight versus queer understanding of, of time or temporality, to use the term by Jack Halverston, for example. But more than that, uh, and this was my initial presentation, but um, and there were other challenges which I wanted to mention too, because these are shared challenges, and some of the challenges which I think which were specific to our project, very briefly, which was the issue of uh, the interview. We had this, all these sociological part interviews with older people and older men specifically, which were deeply uh, delayed by the pandemic, by the COVID-19 pandemic, especially because, you know, older people were especially vulnerable, as we know, during the pandemic. So we had lots of times uh, um, approaching these groups of people because of obvious reasons, but also because of technological problems. And, and this had to do with digitalization and digital um, skills, basically. Many of the older people didn't have that, and so uh, this was a struggle. Another issue was uh, our project is also interdisciplinary, so this has a social sciences component, but also humanities and, and the idea how to link, how to bring together social sciences and social sciences and humanities approaches was challenging, which we tried to address by using what is called a, a qualitative and narrative approach to based on both interviews and also analysis of films and uh, literary texts, uh, representations mostly, cultural representations. And the very last challenge, which I it just came up 10 minutes ago, when I was listening to Professor Londa, uh, for example, was the idea of uh, the human animal. And uh, the idea of bringing together gender studies and animal studies, which is, I think, is a challenge. That, that the idea of the turtle was very enlightening to me. The idea of how some species are actually sex uh, differences or uh, at birth are, are, are affected by climate change. And I was thinking that whether the issues which is bringing, you know, some of the, one of my latest line of thoughts is the idea of whether gender and social constructions and sex uh, if whether we're using a very anthropocentric perspective to the topic and we need to go be, to, to start exploring the issue of the human animals beyond like
like um, uh, beyond uh, like specifically and the issue of aging too and euthanasia and how it affects animals and uh, both human and non-human animals. Thank you.